The NBA draft is fast approaching, and with the draft lottery completed, teams and fans alike have begun the process of evaluating players with the hopes of finding the next star for their franchise. Every draft has the big names and the top five picks that go on to have success, but the best franchises are the ones who can find talented players later in the draft or even as undrafted free agents. These players, often known as sleepers, are some of the ones that help make good teams great or bring hope to a struggling franchise. In this video, we will be taking a look at one of the best sleepers in the 2020 NBA Draft, Xavier Tillman Sr. of Michigan State University. Let's get into this. Now this video hits a little closer to home for me than my previous ones because I actually played against Xavier Tillman in high school. As you might expect, it wasn't much of a contest since he's headed to the NBA and I'm sitting behind my computer. To give you a little glimpse into what our matchups look like, here is me in my senior year of high school. And here is what Xavier Tillman was doing to people when he was in high school. Yeah, it wasn't pretty as you can imagine. Anyways, let's dive into this scouting report, starting with Tillman's biggest strengths. One of Xavier's greatest strengths is his feel for the game, his intangibles. Off the ball defense, he is fantastic at reading where he needs to be on the floor and is always good at coming over on the help side rotation. In the pick and roll, he makes smart decisions, often rolling to the basket, making himself open, and then making a great pass to an open shooter in the corner. In an NBA offense that focuses heavily on the pick and roll, Xavier would excel. Tillman is also a great passer, as I mentioned earlier. Playing alongside Cassius Winston at Michigan State, Tillman took on the role of a secondary playmaker, often finding open players in the corner when he was down low in the post or rolling to the basket. As a center, he averaged three assists in his final season in East Lansing. Tillman is also very strong around the rim. He has a good touch and is able to body out defenders using his wide frame and finish well around the basket. Tillman is also a very solid perimeter defender. He can switch on to guards in pick and roll situations and will often stay in front of them with great success. This is a huge trait to have at the next level. NBA coaches love big men who can switch out onto the perimeter and contain guards for extended periods of time. Xavier is also an aggressive rebounder, averaging over 10 rebounds in his final season with Michigan State. Tillman was a walking double-double for the Spartans. The big man excels at getting great position under the basket, often rooting out bigger and stronger players by getting better position and getting low. Finally, Tillman has a great work ethic. Often the one you see diving on the floor for loose balls or making the hustle plays, Xavier lost almost 30 pounds while on campus at Michigan State and has transformed his body to be NBA ready. Getting into some of Tillman's weaknesses, Let's start off with one that is most commonly critiqued about him and is really out of his control. At 6'8", Xavier is a bit undersized to be a center. He is not the traditional 7-footer you see at the NBA level, and he plays in that 5 position, which is typically a taller position. However, this is offset by the fact that Tillman has a 7-foot 1-inch wingspan. When playing against bigger players, Tillman can hold his own thanks to that larger wingspan. As seen in the Big Ten against bigs like Luca Garza and Daniel Oturu who are larger and stronger, Xavier proved more than capable of defending and out-rebounding them. Tillman can also improve as a jump shooter. In his final season at Michigan State, he shot 27% from three and 70% from the line. His form is promising but does need a little bit of work, however with proper coaching I believe that he can become a pick and pop player at the next level. Xavier is also a solid athlete. Like I mentioned earlier, he can move on the perimeter very well, however when it comes to getting off the ground vertically, he may not be as skilled as some other bigs in the NBA and this is an area that can also be worked on with strength and conditioning coaches, working on things like his second jump, getting up quickly and being more explosive. Coming into the NBA, however, he's a bit of a project in this area as he is not the typical explosive player you would hope to see out of a big that comes in undersized like he does. Finally, Xavier is not much of a shot creator. He can beat reckless closeouts off the dribble and can create a little bit of offense for himself, but he's much better suited as a catch and shoot player, posting up, or as a transition threat. Beating players off the dribble is not his game, but not every player on the floor needs to be an off the dribble creator. With all that being said, paired with national reviews, Xavier is currently looking like a late first round, early second round pick. I went ahead and looked at some of the teams I think he would fit very well on, and here they are. 
First off, the Boston Celtics. They need depth down low very badly. It is clear they miss Al Horford, and I'm sure Al Horford misses them too with the way that he is played in Philadelphia. If drafted by the Celtics, Tillman has the chance to be an Al Horford type player. The Celtics need a big man who is capable of defending on the perimeter and is a good rebounder. Tillman fits that mold exactly. The Celtics have three first round picks at 14, 26, and 30. Although I don't see Tillman going at 14, 26 or 30 would be a great spot to grab the big man. Another team that could use Tillman's services would be the Denver Nuggets. The opportunity to play behind Nikola Jokic and learn from him would be huge for Xavier. Jokic is one of the best distributors of the ball in the league, not even just for centers. However, Jokic is not a very good defender on the perimeter, and that's where a guy like Tillman can come in and help shore up a Nuggets team that is elite offensively, but struggles on the defensive end of the floor. The Nuggets have the 22nd pick in this year's first round, and I think that that would be a great spot to grab Tillman. Another team who should look to pursue Tillman are the Charlotte Hornets. As one of the worst rebounding teams in the league last year, Charlotte desperately needs a player like Tillman who can help grab rebounds down low and take some of the load off Cody Zeller's shoulders or potentially replace him as the starting center. With the second pick in the second round, also known as pick 32, the Hornets are hoping that Tillman would slide to them in the early second round so that he could come in right away and make an impact. The final potential fit I see is one I love for Tillman and that's the Dallas Mavericks at pick 31. With the first pick of the second round, Dallas has to be hoping and praying that Tillman slides to them. He would be a great third playmaker in their offense behind Luka and Kristaps Porzingis. Tillman would benefit greatly from their hyper-efficient offense and would help tighten up a defense that has struggled lately in the playoffs. Whichever team he lands with, they are getting a player who is more than capable of defending on the perimeter and has great work ethic. With work, Tillman can improve his jump shot and become a Draymond Green style player at the NBA level. So guys, that brings us to the end of another video. I went a little off the script today and talked more freely with my thoughts. What did you think of that? Was that enjoyable to listen to or would you prefer a bit more structure? Also, let me know what you think of the scouting report style videos. As always, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell to get notifications every time I upload. Until next time, peace.